What up, everybody? It's You Know Who with your boy, Lil Neil, and I'm with The Drew. Not Drew Brees. Drew Jones. <laughs> you sure? I think. I, I could be The Drew Brees. I can no, throw it no, pretty no, well. No, 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 You can't throw it like that. You, you can't, me you can't throw it like that. You can't spin I it can't like that. I can't throw it like that. You actually. saw what happened. Wait, you saw what happened the other night. Drew Brees on fire. The Texans think they got my boy. And Drew Brees comes you in. You can never count them You can never count them. Only with like 30 seconds left. You know what they were hollering in the stands? They don't call him Drew Brees. They don't say Brees. You know what they say? Breezes. That's what they call Breezes. him. In, that's what they call him in like all that. They call him Breezes. Like Save that. us, Breezes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, Drew. So I'm just letting you know. So that name you have, the knowledge and stuff. First, actually, I'm named after the late, great Drew Pearson. Oh, yeah. Who's the hell of a Did he play receiver? Drew mm -hmm. Pearson? I like Drew Pearson. He was he could get it in. Well, late and great. So you've always been a huge Steeler fan. Is that where the Drew name came to fruition? So why don't we go down that road? Since you get that, this is something you never told me about, Drew. Please explain. Oh, so, I was actually thinking we could talk about another receiver. Uh, I, I, well, no, no, no. I no, think okay, right we're going to go down that road. We're going to go down that road. We're going to go down that road. Okay, so okay. Drew. So the name Drew was from a receiver, Drew, Drew Pearson. So yes. the name So tell me, give me the background behind that. What happened to and, and, and does that mean you have the love for the team? Tell me about it. Tell me no, about it. tell me about Please explain. Love. Tell me about my love for football. Yes, okay, yes, so, yes. Uh, this well, is true, everyone. This is not about love. This is not about love. This is about true. D-R-E-W, yes. Yeah, so actually, my name, my dad named me. Okay. So my mom wanted to name me Charlotte. My dad was like, hell no. And so he really liked the name Drew. So I would have been Drew either way if I was a boy or a girl. They didn't know until I was Really? Born. Yeah. Okay. So I would Drew either way. He liked the name Drew because of Drew Pearson, Drew Carey, Drew Barrymore. Oh, wow. A lot so, of Drews. Yeah, and mom Drews. liked Charlotte because she liked the movie Charlotte's Web. Probably. So Spider. Okay. Got yes. you there? Yes. Okay. Please continue. Continue. And that's pretty much it. I came out. I was a girl. And Drew Elizabeth Jones. Here well, I am. Drew, it's so nice to see nice. you. Nice Drew, to meet you. Drew, now, thank you for enlightening How'd you get your name? Mom like this little Hispanic boy's name is Lorenzo. And mama said, I said, because everyone, every time I go there, were you Hispanic, Mexican? I was like, no, no, no. My mom liked this little boy. And they said, I said, you, hey, what was his name? I said, his name was Lorenzo. And she's like, and I'm like, yeah. He wasn't so you're not Italian? No, I'm not Italian. Went to not Hispanic. She liked Lorenzo. And I'm like, what? She's like, what? Because she liked the, the boy and his happened to be Lorenzo. What did what you want to do? Billy? What do you think it's going to be? Uh, 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 See, but I, Charlie? Think, I like your middle name. Levon? Levon. Levon. Lorenzo Levon. What's up, y'all? That's a French Lorenzo name. Levon. Levon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is pretty hot. I mean, Drew, can we get to down? What are we talking let's about Let's get down today? to business. Yes, let's get down to business. So, the other receiver I really want to talk about yes. that's been in the news a lot lately is Antonio Brown. So, as a former NFL player, yes. very decorated you are, do you think that he was in the right for asking for a release? You know what? When this first started off, this whole situation started off, I thought that, hey, maybe, as everyone alluded to, when he played in Pittsburgh, uh, Burkus, who now is the linebacker for the mm -hmm. Raiders, hit him, had a big hit. Mm -hmm. People say that maybe that. he hasn't been the same since then. So I was thinking maybe there were some off things. You talked about, uh, people talked about when the team would go to training camp, he would mm -hmm. stay in an Airbnb so he wouldn't be a part of the team. Right. So I understand superstars get different privileges, and I get that, I can understand that. But it comes to a point in time where you've got to say I'm buying into a team, especially when he went to another team in Oakland. Um, it's rumored now that, hey, that this was something that he wanted to do from the all beginning. from the beginning. And so this is a, if, if this is the case, because we thought, that, hey, something's wrong with this guy. First it's the helmet. First it's the helmet. Then it's the, it's the feet. It's, yeah. I don't want to, not going through the walkthrough, not showing up. And I was like, and I looked at this thing, and at first I said, like, hey, the Raiders knew what they were getting when they got it. They knew that he did these, the same behavior was tolerated in, 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 in Pittsburgh, so what makes it different? So if that's the case, you say, you can't blame him, you blame the team. But after you hear all the information that starts coming out, you feel horrible for the Raiders. Yeah, because and the fan base. And the, the fans, I mean, the fans are just, they, they should be living because now you fooled them, you tricked them, you came out there, people bought jerseys, did all that stuff, and then all along you wanted to get out, you only, were, you only came to practice and you never came more than three days in a row. And this is the thing that kind of gets me that I think that now when I start going through it and doing the process of elimination because I'm like, you know, just so intuitive with everything, you know, I'm slow, you know. Fresno State degree. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, get a D, get a degree. Um, That's true. Okay. Leave I got a couple. Anyway, uh, anyway, so as I digest, as I like to say, um, 
So when you think about if a person, say for instance, you and your husband, you and your wife, or whatever it may be, that you're thinking about people that you're not getting along, so you're thinking about splitting, but you want to work. So you're still in love, you still want to work it out, you still want to make it happen, so you're saying, I'm willing to work, I'm willing to do everything. Even though you've grown apart, you're like, get it, I gotta make this thing happen. Tell me, so since he didn't have a helmet, if he's still a part of the team, why wouldn't you still have practice? When you're going to try to make your marriage work, you're still gonna show up to counseling, you're still gonna to go to church, you're gonna do those things that help bring you back. So even though he wasn't able to perform, because maybe he didn't want the helmet, why were you at practice? Why were you going to meetings? Why were you going through walkthrough? Why were you showing your brothers that you're around? Those are the questions now that I look at and say, wow, here's a guy that's kind of planned this because you wouldn't just, you wouldn't just remove yourself from your team. If, if you really, if but it was just about- not a team sport, is it? Yeah, there's no I in team. No, I know. No, and 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 so now he's in New England, and you know, it's just New England's not going to give a guy fifteen million dollars for one year if they don't think that that guy's going to be able to work it out. So I, I think that it's it's sad for the Raiders, it's sad for an organization. Uh, I, I feel bad for the fans. Really, I do too. Really do. Yeah. And unfortunately, he, he acted out and he got what he wanted, and it's too bad. But karma, I guess. Right, on greener pastures, on, yeah. onward and upward. We're headed into week two. Yeah. So, you know, I wanted to ask you a couple of predictions you have for three bigger games I thought this coming weekend. So, who do you think is going to win, Vikings or Packers this weekend? You know what? I like, believe it or not, I think Minnesota. I think Minnesota wins this game. I don't think the Green Bay is as good as everyone think they are, I mean, even though they had some success. Think the coaching change has kind of an influence on that? I, I don't necessarily think it's the coaching change. I just think that you have a team that really doesn't, that's really not that good. Everyone now think that Green Bay is now the best team in the league because they beat Chicago. Newsflash, Chicago has a quarterback named Trubisky. Uh, I can probably throw the ball just as good as this guy. I mean, no, I mean, hey, I'm happy. First one. He only played 16 college games, and they drafted him second pick overall. I mean, to me, that's kind of ferocious. I mean, here you're going to go with a guy that you got to do a gimmick offense. They would have been in the NFC Championship last year if they if he would have just been capable. You, you, he can't win you games. He can manage games. They need the field goal kicker last year. They missed the field goal. They would have beat Philadelphia. Then they would have competed with the Saints. If you saw the game the other night, they only three points. All they got was a field goal. So now everyone's talking about this. This, this Green Bay's team, it's fool's goal. It's preposterous. No, they're not a great team. You know how many points Green Bay scored? 10. Newsflash, it's supposed to be Aaron Rodgers. Even though they'll be in Lambeau, you think the Vikings will still win? Sure as Monday coming after Sunday, Vikings is taking this one down. Well, you heard it, I said it, I meant it. I'll go bend it before I put, before I take it back, I'll put more in it. Minnesota Vikings, mark it, mark the tape. Seven again. What am I talking about, Mark? The tape. I always say, Mark the tape. Write it down. You hear it. Lock. You hear it first. Minnesota goes into Lambeau, and Aaron Rodgers around. That's right. That's All right. right. Next up, a little repeat of last year's yes. NFC Championship. Do you think the Saints or the Rams will win? They're playing in LA. Ooh, that game. Now that game. That game is is really really going to be a, a phenomenal game. I'm looking forward to that one. Now that one's going to be probably the game of the week. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. But you know what I'm going to do there? Now we'll take the home team there. I like okay. what they're doing. I, and I, even though I love Breezes. Breezes. But he's not going to be in the Voodoo Dome. He's not going to be in the Dome. He's not on that fast turf. Right. They're going to be playing on grass. You playing. think the refs will have some influence this time? Oh, oh ooh, <laughs> nice. Too soon. Too, Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, you know what? There, that's an angle that I didn't look at. Hey, New Orleans said, hey. They feel that they got cheated. Everyone feel they got cheated. So they this, have a little chip on their shoulders. They have a little chip on their shoulders. So it's going to be a good game. I mean, I'm still going to give the edge to the home team. But I'm telling you, this fireworks are going to be the fireworks are going to be at its premium. This is going to be an amazing game. Um, if it's a close game, I'm giving it to the Saints. Okay. If if it's a, if it's a one score game and Drew Brees has the ball in his hand, I'll go with Saints. But if it's a one, if it's there by double digits or whatever. Yeah, if it's not close, then you, you look at the Rams. But if you, if Drew Brees has the ha, has the ball, and they're and they're losing by three or four, I'm going with the Saints. If the Saints are up by three or four, and they have to go to length of the ball, I'm 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 going with the, I'm, I'm taking I'm taking the Saints because I don't think the golf is the real. Has it Yeah. Late yeah. in the game. 
right, well, let's bring it on back home. Let's bring it home. Let's Last go home. Last one. Let's go home. Bigger game, kind of a rival game. Who's going to win, Chiefs or Raiders playing in Oakland? Ooh, man. Oakland played. And the Raiders had such an amazing game Monday night under the lights. Last Monday night game that we're going to see at the Coliseum. Right. I mean, the emotions in that stadium, it was so amazing. It was lots rocking. Lots of chanting. The fans, oh, lots of chanting. I can't say my mom would have to make me wash my mouth off with soap if I was chanting what they were saying yeah, about AB. Yeah, what they went out. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that place was rocking. The fans went out and they just, it, the Raiders never gave Denver a chance. They jumped on them and beat them just at the start. The game was never in question. That was a big time win. I think emotionally they wanted to go out and show the fans that hey, we can win without A B. Right. Um, they were saying the chant fans started chanting the whole game, find A B, find A B. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, but uh, no so but I think Kansas City's just a different animal. I Absolutely. think Kansas City's the best team in football. They the, you know, D four comes to San Francisco and they bring in uh, pass rusher from Seattle Seahawks who even even a better pass rusher and no disrespect to D four because if you saw what he did for the Niners of it last week but they went they went and got better. They went from a, a four 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 three to a three four. They changed their defense all together. I think Kansas City, they're hung. Kansas City, you saw what they did to Jacksonville. Jacksonville Post been one of the favorites in the AFC. Mahomes coming off an MVP yeah, season. So. Yeah, and he's picked up where he left off. And I think that it's going to be a very, very good test for the Oakland Raiders. But I'm going to take the Chiefs. And the home of the Chiefs. I'm sorry, Raider fans. That wasn't personal. Just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, Be I'm not. Yes, Be I'm not speaking with emotions. Don't get mad at Facts. me. I'm just speaking with what I've seen. And you guys have to be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Look in the mirror and be honest with yourself before you look at me, okay? All right. Go Raiders. <laughs> Let's wrap it on up yes. here. So three matchups this weekend that we think will be pretty big. So you've got the Vikings, Rams, and unless it's a close game, it's the Saints. And you're picking the Chiefs over the Raiders. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I, this prediction, I hate I, I wouldn't mind being wrong. I wouldn't mind being wrong. All right. Well, can't wait till next week to yeah, I can't either. see I'm, if you're right. More than likely, I'm going to be right. I'm sorry, everyone. More than likely, I'll be right.